Hi folks, Karen here with Baby Boomers Gun Online at ksmuslimwing.com. And in today's video, I want to talk about adding PayPal buy now and add to cart buttons onto your website through WordPress. And this takes your blog and converts a section of it over to e-commerce. And this works whether you are selling services like I do on my site or if you're selling products like my husband does on his site. So let's get started. First you want to go over and you want to click on your add plugins. So you want to add a new plugin. And the plugin that you are looking for is the WP Simple PayPal Shopping Cart. So let me show you what that looks like. So you want to put in here WP Simple PayPal Shopping Cart. And it's this one right here. This is the one you want to add right here. Always be sure to check. It's compatible with your version. Make sure they updated it recently. And this one has 50,000 plus active installs. So you now you could look around and say this only has 3,000, this only has 2,000. This is the one that works for me. So that's the one we're going to be talking about. Now once you add your plugin and activate it, you'll find it under your settings. See right down here? And then what you want to do is you fill it out, name your shopping cart. This is all pretty self-explanatory. If you're adding um, your own button, see now I made my own shopping cart button. Or you can just leave it to the default button. This one, if you want to set up a separate page for people to go to once they purchase. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. Once people purchase, they go to here. Thank you for your order. And this this I have set up because on mine people have you know special things they have to attach so if they have um, the audio they want transcribed the articles they want to send me etc then I have these here and that's the thank you page that allows them to add whatever they need for customizing the order and I did the same thing for my husband so how do you put it in there? Here's the product page. That's where the button's going to go. I have it set that it opens PayPal checkout in a new tab. All the rest of this I have empty. Because this is just very simple. Also, when you're setting up the PayPal shopping cart button. If you are if you are sending if you're not going to charge shipping, you can just leave this blank. And then yeah, you just leave it blank if you don't want to use it. If you are sending out physical products and you need to get their shipping address at PayPal, then you would check that button off. If you already have a shipping profile set up at PayPal, then you would check that off. Otherwise, you would do what my husband does on his. See, you know, he sells physical products that have to be shipped out. Once you have it done, there are two codes you put in. So you would add this short code in where you want the Buy Now button. And this is where you want to put the shopping cart. So here's what you do. 
if you're having if you have physical products with shipping you have your button name you have your price then you also have to add a shipping section inside that code now mine are digital deliveries so I just have the name of the product and the price but you want to make sure if you're going to be shipping things out and you're not going to charge shipping you can just use this one but if you are going to charge shipping you need to add your shipping amount into your code now I'll show you how that looks let's go over to the page I'll show you the edit page now down here I have these in a the table but this is show the shopping cart so anytime somebody buys something it'll show up in the shopping cart now here's the button right here and what you want to change in this is that is the product the button name is the product that you're selling and then you put your price in okay so it's it's very basic it's very simple I mean you just add the button to your page where you want it to show up and let's do a test run here so hypothetically I want and you can't see the cart until somebody adds something so I want to get an ebook cover made I'm going to come down here ask my shopping cart And then you check out with PayPal, and that opens up in a new window or tab. And it says what it is and how much it is. Okay, so this is a very simple way to add products to your site where people can pay you through PayPal. Okay, hope this helps. Uh, don't forget if you have any questions, if you're on my YouTube channel you can drop a message down below the video and if you are on my blog you can ask me a question okay thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe bye